Here is some custom tooling for a torsion spring tester. We're gonna show you how to set it up. This is the homing key, the homing hole. You're gonna put that on the torsion, the torsion cell right there. And you're gonna use the draw bar to tighten it. This is a tailstock side. It's usually two two pins like that, but depending on your tooling, it might be different. Again, you tighten it using the tailstock draw bar. Okay, so we're gonna home the tester so that it has a, an angle to start from while we try to line up these uh, custom tooling plates. I'm gonna bring it close together and I can tell that I gotta move yep. counterclockwise way. So I'm gonna do that manually like so to get it close. And I'm gonna actually bring my motor speed down. When you're setting up tests, you always wanna have it at the lowest speed. So you check and recheck until you get it right. And you can actually just tap this and it will tick down if you want to do it manually. But what you should do when you're using a, an ATST is use your go-to angle feature. So So there's my, that's, that's the sweet spot for this test. So once I get that put in there, that's where I want it to be. That's my new zero, so I'm gonna hit zero angle. And you can see that that's gonna save because it's yellow. So once we do that, now we're ready to set up and put our springs on and get a test set up. So this is the spring that we're going to be testing with this tooling. The spring goes on the mandrel like this. And I know that we're going to be testing the spring in this direction. We're gonna be deflecting it this way. So I need to exercise my cell in the same way. Now right now it's in the lock position. So I'm gonna change that to be in the test position. And I'm going to, because this is only a 25 inch pound torque cell, I can actually manually exercise this using my hands, getting to 25 inch pounds three times to exercise that. One, two, three. And once it's done that, I can zero my torque. So I'm going to set up a program, it's going to be done in counterclockwise and I've already got that established and I've got a zero angle which I like. Go to program mode, make sure that this is in counterclockwise or clockwise depending on your test. Select a new command and do torque at angle and for this particular test I have to go to 112 degrees, the torque should be four and a half inch pounds and uh, on the low side it can be as good or it can be as bad as four inch pounds and on the high side it can be as good or as bad as five inch pounds so that gives me what I need and then we're going to go to automatic mode and we're going to try it out 
So when you first try out your, your test, you want to make sure that you're not engaging anything there so that it's a safe test and you have your motor speed at 10%. So if that's all good, then you're free to hit start test and then you watch and see what happens. And right now, I'm liking what I'm seeing because that's the direction I want it to go. It looks about right. And once it does that, then we can bring it closer. We want to make sure that the center mandrill goes into, into the tooling just a little bit. And once it gets to where I want it to be, and I make sure that the homing uh, pin is not going to hit, then that's where I'm going to set my carriage stop, which is this guy down here. So I want to set my carriage stop up to here so I don't have to just baby it in every single time. I'm going to lock that in place. So then when I bring it in, I got something to bump up against. And that's about right where I want it. Then when I perform an actual test, I'm going to lock the tail stock in place using this lock. And then once that's done, then I can hit start. And there is your first real test. All right, we just finished our setup and I'm gonna test six springs and at 100% motor speed, I've cleared my old test uh, data and we're gonna get a fresh start. So here we go. Last one. Now that I've done those six, say I did a lot of them, I can do some analytics of what I just did. I like this monitor because you can see that your test is taking 4.16 seconds at 100% speed. It took me 13 seconds per part and it's 20 seconds and counting since my last test. So there you go.